A very good afternoon to you. Welcome to the Adama Science and Technology University. The fan who uh, lost his life and a uh, very ardent fan of uh, the fossil side known as Teshome Legese. So they really are giving him uh, the mention in this game. That's a team that has already caused a casualty on the coach, Siom Kebede. For Alba Mage just carves it in front here, forcing uh, Samake on to a quick save, and he blames everybody else who's not taking care of him. The guy and Belai were there, and they shielded each other very nicely up to the time the header is taken. Don't seem to know exactly who they should be marking in there. The Alba Mage side were already counting that as a goal. Kiki Afolabi will probably go for it on the left foot. And he does. It's a good, very long one. It's on target. It's picked up by the goalkeeper. He's going to start it from his side. Good execution of that one, Peter. Oh, yes. Technically, very, very well done. It's a corner for Arba Mitch. A low one. Here is the shot. Again, it's blocked. There are many bodies there on which it bangs. Yeah, this shot. Yeah. Just hit onto Amsalu Tilahun. was trying to turn actually the captain of the side Ashley Tamene was the last one to block it away with the expectation from uh, the Alba Minge fans that it was going to be going towards goal but a Kedessa and Bizar Melayo should be plying that route on the left side and then on the right Alem Birhan is a good shot by Kapaito that forces Mikel Samake to push it out just to make sure that he's not going to make a mistake here I got a man on the ground. Kapaito just decided to take a advantage there after Belai Gezain has been brought down. It's very not dangerous, Peter, but that is it's, it's as dangerous as the goalkeeper has made it look. It looks like a very harmless ball, but that header by Kadir Kulibali is the one that has pushed down Belai Gezain and has left him down there. On the reverse, you see just how hard it is. He comes with his hands and he comes with his body as well. Good one for Shimakit. Brings in a cross and a nice one at that. Rezab Maleu decides not to go for a shot. It's in his line and he pops it into the net. It's Rezab Maleu. This time round, not from outside the box, but from a good return that is in his line as he pushes it with full power. Samson Asefa knows that that is the shot that was going to beat him. As Rezab Maleu opens the scoring in this one. And scores his sixth goal. Long boot again directly towards goal. He takes a crossbar. That's by Sir Feldenacho. Again, I think the whistle has already gone by the time the second one is taking the yeah, yellow card for just protesting a little bit too much. Taken absolutely technically well. It was beating the goalkeeper again. Look at that shot. Dips at the right time. But it's a bit too high, too much power on it also. Ricardo. Oh. Oh. It's pretty obvious the way he's going to go. Uh, the referee is going to penalize him for it. Oh, I'm Salutilla as well gets yellow carded. I think he had talked a lot of things before. Must have said something nasty to the referee because he wasn't part of this action, was he? He wasn't even the one who was fouled. Because the foul came in on Said Hussein. Now, Fikadu has already been punished for that. He's uh, using too much energy, isn't he? This is a nice one towards the goalkeeper. Punched out by Mikel Samake. And a better delivery out than by the captain, National Tamene. Yeah, he punches the ball back into play, doesn't he? Yes, he punches the ball back into play. Ball, the ball that was taken very, very well. Only didn't cover the right time. The goalkeeper coming out and very dangerously punching the ball back into play. This is the whistle for the end of the game. It ends in favor of Fasil. Arba Minch nil and Fossil 1. It's full time from the Adama Science and Technology University.